All good. Zach, how bad did the weight cut affect you? Because during the fight, you were just pushing him around the whole cage, so it didn't look like you were affecting much at all by not missing making the weight. Uh, the weight cut really didn't bother me too much. Uh, I, I ran out of time, you know. It's, it's my fault. I walk around really heavy, and I'm really fixing that. I'm, I'm trying my best to get down there, and that's not going to happen again. The, uh, the early morning weigh-ins is taking some adjustments. I almost missed it. I almost missed the deadline last time in, uh, in Salt Lake City. And then I had the weight, I just, I just ran out of time. Um, I, you know, it's a pound and a half over, and uh, I had to get there and get on the scale or else I couldn't fight. So uh, it's 100% my fault, you know, but, uh, I, you know, I, I felt great. So the, uh, the weight cut was on point. I just, I just started too late, I guess, so I just ran out of time. So uh, I felt great in the fight, uh, tons of energy, um, felt strong. You know, there's nothing, uh, nothing he was going to be able to do to, to stop me. You know, it's hard to say. The man, the pro is having that that whole time to for the recovery process is amazing. I absolutely love the recovery process, but uh, um, it's just you know, it, it's it's hard to say. You know, everything's different. Um, you know, the gym closed at ten o'clock. Uh, didn't open till six thirty, so I cut some weight till ten. Try to get some sleep. Woke up at six. I, I probably, but uh, you know, I probably should have got up a little earlier than that. Maybe started in my tub, um, stuff like that. So I mean, again. No excuses, it's on me. Uh, I just need to adjust to the time. You know, they, there's still a deadline whenever it was before, and I made that you know that deadline. So uh, I'm just making some adjustments. Um, that's, that's about it. So I'm not, I'm not blaming anybody else myself. Is there anything you felt that you wanted to write as well after fighting in Dublin before and not getting the result that you wanted then? You're coming back over to Belfast, you're coming over to right. Maybe I can rectify that from before. Yeah, you know, I felt like I was winning the fight with Gunner. Um, and he landed a solid shot, uh, broke my orbital. I was having issues seeing. And, you know, I, I figured, hey, if I can't see him very well, even though I'm winning the stand-up more, let's, uh, let's make it a grappling match. Gunner Nelson's not the best person to do that to. So, uh, you know, he bested me that night. That's okay. But the, the fans here are ridiculous. They're so loud. Um, the chant out there was so cool to hear. So uh, I love coming overseas, fighting for the, the different the European fans and everything. So, uh, Man, it was just it was awesome. So I, I love traveling and fighting and, and just building my fan base and meet new people and new cultures. So I love it. Would Europe be somewhere that you would like to keep fighting? You know, maybe maybe somewhere else. We've got London coming up in March. What what kind of areas are you interested you like to travel? Anywhere. Uh, I love to fight, and it's my job. They can send me all over the world. Um, I love coming over here to Europe. So, uh, I, you know, Ireland. I would love to go to Australia. Australia would be a good place because for me, I come, I work, I put on a show, and then I go and I, I travel for about a week or so uh, with my family and stuff. So uh, any of them, any of them I, I really didn't know if I would enjoy Croatia, and that was one of the coolest places I've ever, uh, you know, ever been to in my life. So uh, I just love traveling, learning new cultures and everything. So I'll go anywhere and fight. Your opponent seemed very tentative in the first round and the second round. It looked like he was kind of fearing that take down. And then obviously when he got it, you got the submission. Did anything surprise you about the fight? You know, I knew uh, he doesn't do very well with pressure, uh, from what I could tell with some of his previous fights. Um, if you let him uh, get his game going, he's dangerous. If he's able to take you down and everything, um, you know, he found he found my uh, felt my power early. You know, the bad thing is I, I hit him with a solid left hand, and then I got poked in the eye, so I couldn't uh, couldn't capitalize on it. But he felt that early. You know, he threw some kicks. I checked him, and they didn't do anything to me. He took a shot. I stuffed it pretty fast. So. Uh, just everything he was trying to do, I stuffed in the first round and just basically was kind of mentally break him a little bit. In the second round, I really picked up the volume, uh, the pressure, the uh, changing levels. I landed some hard shots and then put him on his back and, and do what I do best and finish fights. Did you feel that you had him hurt once you went to the ground because he kind of gave a position, I'm not saying too easily, but you, you, it was a smooth transition to go from side control and obviously you took the, to, to the back and then into the reverse triangle? Uh, you know, I, uh, I'm, I'm really smooth. I, I love that transition. So, uh, but yeah, he was hurt. You know, I landed some, some hard shots on him on our feet whenever he was in the middle of the shooting. I hit a, a solid uh, uppercut. So, um, he was hurt. You know, didn't really know it was going to slow down the transition a little bit. Um, I'm really good if I get into side control. If I can stuff that arm through and step over, I'm good there. So, uh, and I kind of, you know, foresaw that getting that position and going for that far side arm bar. So, uh, I saw it happen beforehand and it, 
you know, it, it went ahead and happened out there. So it's it's a rare position to be in. You know, if you're a grappling guy or an MMA guy, it's a really rare position to be in. So is that something that you trained a lot in training because to do that in a fight is, is that's very rare. Yeah, it is. Uh, I do it all the time in practice. Uh, I've I've ended another fight earlier on in my pro career in the same uh, same position as well. So uh, just. I've got big, strong legs, so if, uh, if I get them around your neck and you know make it really uncomfortable, you really forget about your arm. So, uh, and that's a, it's an armbar. It's hard to finish. I'm strong enough and can really get a lot of leverage. So, uh, you know, it's one of those if you practice it enough, you can get good at it. And that's one of those positions that's kind of a an opposition most people don't get very well, but uh, but I'm good there. So. And good shape after the fight. Is there any cards coming up or any opponents you'd like to take in the near future? You know, I'm just. I'm, one, I'm happy to get back on my winning ways. I hate losing. Um, you know, I lost a really close decision to Ponzinibbio. I thought that fight, if I won, is going to get me probably a top 15, top 10 guy next. That's all I want. I just want to, you know, climb the ranks. Um, you know, so if I get a top 15 guy after this or, you know, someone who's ahead of me in the rankings to get closer to that point, that's all I want. So I'm healthy, um, keep my weight under control. You know, if they call me and jump into something, I'm down. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Thanks,